and raise your right hand. I will begin by swearing you in. In the public glare, the people, the players, and the process that will decide the president's fate. With one key question, did he abuse his office for political gain? The matter is as simple and as terrible as that. Our answer to these questions will affect not only the future of this presidency, but the future of the presidency itself, and what kind of conduct or misconduct the American people may come to expect from their commander-in-chief. This spectacle is doing great damage to our country. It's nothing more than an impeachment process in search of a crime. Bill Taylor, the top U.S. diplomat in Ukraine, delivered an early bombshell, linking the president directly with a quid pro quo and revealing a previously unknown phone call between Mr. Trump and the EU ambassador, Gordon Sondland. Following the call with President Trump, the member of my staff asked Ambassador Sondland what President Trump thought about Ukraine. Ambassador Sondland responded that President Trump cares more about the investigations of Biden which Giuliani was pressing for. Taylor was damning about withholding aid and says he raised the alarm. To withhold that assistance for no good reason other than help with the political campaign made no sense. It was, it was counterproductive to all of what we had been trying to do. Uh, it was illogical. It could not be explained. It was crazy. But Republicans had their chief attack dog primed with a rapid round of biting questions. Ambassador, you weren't on the call, were you? The president, you didn't listen on President Trump's call and President Lindsey's call? I did not. You never talked with Chief of Staff Mulvaney? I never did. You never met the president? That's correct. You had three meetings again with Zelensky and it didn't come up. And two of those they had never heard about as far as I know. And president there was Lindsay, no reason for and it. President Zelensky never made an announcement. This, this is what I can't believe, and you're their star witness. But George Kent, the other half of the professorial pairing testifying, also expressed deep concern about the president's lawyer conducting his own foreign policy. In mid-August, it became clear to me that Giuliani's efforts to gin up politically motivated investigations were now infecting U.S. engagement with Ukraine. So what of the man of the moment? Well, he says he was too busy to watch. I hear it's a joke. I haven't watched. I haven't watched for one minute because I've been with the president, which is much more important as far as I'm concerned. The president and Republicans are depicting this as a partisan sham, and the country appears to be as divided as Washington. Many people simply don't believe what they see on their TV screens, and they came here today to see it for themselves. The fact is, this was a serious, sober, and civil day. Whatever you think of the evidence, it's now available for all to see. Cordelia Lynch, Sky News, Washington.